Good morning everyone and welcome to another short review. Today we have a look at five products by a company called Small Rigs. Two of them are in use for quite a while and the rest has not been unboxed yet. We will figure out what's inside and it might be interesting for all Canon EOS R5 and R6 users. So let's get started. As always, the link is listed in the video description below. And if you would like to support my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, follow me on Telegram and Instagram. So here is a so-called L bracket for the Canon EOS R5 and R6, which is also available for Sony and other cameras. You get plenty of holes to attach other things like an external microphone, a flash, or a video light, or for instance, an external monitor. You got plenty of them here on the bottom as well. And a tool which helps you to lock and unlock the screws. If you're not happy with the size so that the cables are able to come out of the side, you can extend this rail here, which is really cool. You can lock it once again. And you can lock obviously the screw here on the bottom for the Canon EOS R5 and R6. You do have an attachment here for a shoulder strap. Plenty of holes to attach something else. And I do have a little extension arm here, which I will mount to the L bracket very quick. Once you have attached anything to your camera, which can either be an external video light, a flash or a microphone, your hot shoe is in use and you can't use anything else. And that's why an L bracket might be interesting. So here I do have the extension arm, which allows me now to use an external monitor, for instance, or an external video light or a microphone, for instance. So this L bracket is specifically made for the Canon EOS R5 and R6, but you can uh, take a different version for Sony as well. So that is the common problem. Once I attached anything to the camera, the hot shoe is in use and I can't use anything else. And with that extension arm, I would be able now to use an external monitor or video light or anything like that. If you do have any problems with your cable management, so if they are not long enough or you need to twist them here around, you got that little tool to extend that rail, which is really nice. So it gives you some extra space between the camera and the L bracket. And this L bracket has um, one important feature as well, because if you need to film something for TikTok or Instagram, you can do that because using these holes, these holes here allow you to attach now um, an external tripod or a slider and you can film vertically with your camera. So in portrait mode, which is really nice by the way. Here is the cold shoe adapter, which you can use on all your cameras which have a hot shoe like Sony, Nikon, Canon, Pentax, Fuji, whatsoever. Um, you get a tool included with all small rig devices which require a tool. And let's get out the Canon EOS R5. By the way, I have this cold shoe adapter for a long time already, which I use in combination with my Canon EOS R6. It's, it's kind of stiff, but that makes it nice because if you have attached anything that is a little bit bigger or heavier, like this external recorder here, it holds in any direction, which is pretty good for all filmers out there. And by the way, as a feedback, I'm using this adapter for almost two years now because I have two of them and it's, it's great for filming. Yeah, if you have an external recorder like this, that is the Atomos Ninja 5. It has a really great stiffness, so which, is, uh, which allows you that um, heavier devices hold in all directions and it's nice for filming. And that is something that uh, everyone should have once you have any products made by, by this company called Small Rig. It's a multi-function tool in that small box here, which is um, really great designed and it's probably 
uh, dust and water splash proof. It looks like a small knife that you have in your garage or anything. And if you pop that out, these are all the required tools for all the gear that you might have from this company or for, from other companies as well. I mean, they can help you out at any time here for um, attaching any ball heads to your cameras or to any slider out there. See, there are four different tools here on this side. So if you go on a long trip and you're afraid that you're gonna lose any screw, but you have an additional one at home, that is cool that you can stow them here on the side in case you lose any screw on a longer trip. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. And if you have more screws to lose, there's a small compartment in that case where you can stow them as well. So if you have really long filming days, you need to get a lot of batteries or you have some time in between to charge your camera using a USB-C power bank, for instance, which I have somewhere around here as well, which I will show you now. So that's what, that one is a 65 watts. It offers power delivery, so I will be able to charge my camera on the go. However, if you would like to get some more power, maybe for interviews or press conferences, you can get one of these big batteries that is a that replaces the Sony NPF 750. What you can do with that, that's what I'm going to show you now. So we got that L bracket here, kind of. You go to the back of your Canon camera, that is the Canon EOS R5, you can use that also on the Canon EOS R6. Remove that door, take the battery out, and then, I didn't notice that, but here on the side is a little hole. I hope you can see that, there's a small shaft for a cable. Wow! And that's on all Canon EOS R5 cameras and R6 cameras. So we got this LPE6N dummy, which has a cable attached to it and put that into your camera and to get it out of the camera, make sure you make use of this little shaft here. And now we come to the important part, make sure the door is again uh, connected to the camera, otherwise your camera is not going to do any reaction at all. So let me see how that works and make sure it is, wait, closed. So now it's closed and that is a really important part of this video. Now you can attach this bracket using the intuited clue tool, not clue tool. So this is now attached to the L bracket uh, via this screw here on the side. If you need to charge that battery, you can do that in your car. You got four LEDs and a power button. On this side, um, you need to put in the cable which came out of the camera. And if you are not in your car and for instance you want to charge this big battery here, you can do that via a USB-C power adapter. So let's put in the battery. And now you need to push that button for about two seconds. The red LED means that we are taking the bad, this battery as a power source and if you are connected to a different power source, so if you want to charge this battery at the same time, this LED will turn blue. So the camera did a reaction, that means it's powered. As you can see, the head display works and obviously the screen itself is working as well. Isn't that great? Now you can 
basically record forever. These batteries are available in different sizes as well. So there's a bigger one with up to six or 7,000 milliampere for longer video shootings. There is now one problem that I noticed. You cannot take out this L bracket to get to the microphone port or the USB-C port or the HDMI port if you're recording to an external source. So what you need to do then if you have um, basically or if you have connected the camera to a tripod, turn it the other way around. Or if you have some space somewhere else, you can put that on the side or use it this way, but then you need to make sure that the screw is tight. When I did it the first time, I was like, okay, and how can I use now an external microphone? But it works that way as well. And if you find a different way to attach that uh, this rail here, just leave a comment below. I mean, it's a really nice idea for longer shootings or time lapses. That's uh, one of the things I would use it for. And just for demonstration purposes, this USB-C cable was included, which is really nice. Let's connect it to a power bank. And you get now a blue LED which illuminates here on the side. That means that this battery is charging at the same time. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching this extended review about a lot of accessories by that company called Smallrig. If you do have any further questions, please do not hesitate to state or to post a comment below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to support my channel, all the products which I have shown in this video are listed in uh, the video description below. Make also sure to follow me on Telegram and Instagram. See you very soon and bis bald. Ciao.